Hey everyone, this is a review of the Snowjo 22 inch 15 amp snowblower. So I'm gonna cover how to put this thing together and then really push its limits and show you how it performs in really deep snow drifts. Assembly on this thing is super easy. You just take it out of the box. You put the handle together with the included wing nuts. Uh, there are no tools required for this at all. Then you put the directional crank together and assemble it with the included cotter pins uh, so you can turn the chute whichever direction you want. Then you clip the cord to the handle and set the chute to the right angle and you're all ready to go. So when you're ready to move some snow, you just plug this into an extension cord. I used a 14 gauge 100 foot cord. Snow Joe recommends if you're gonna go that long, you actually use a 12 gauge cord, but I didn't notice any drop in power uh, due to voltage drop. To start the snow blower, you push in the safety switch here, here and you pull the trigger and you hold this handle down the whole time you're running it. Since it's a plug-in snowblower, it also has a cord clip right here so you can keep your cord up out of the way so you don't get it caught in the auger. That's the only thing you gotta really pay attention to. I didn't find it was much extra work at all to keep the cord out of the way. This also comes with an onboard tool to clear jams from the auger. I never had it jammed the whole time, but if you get a big chunk of ice or a rock in there, you can reach in with this and get it out. Uh, I wouldn't recommend putting your hands in there unless you've definitely unplugged the machine. While you're using the snowblower, if you want to adjust the direction you're shooting snow at, you just take the crank here and turn it. You can turn that chute 180 degrees uh, to shoot any direction you need to. If you want to change the angle you're shooting at, you can loosen up this knob right here and then index it up or down. So it goes from about here, which is pretty close to vertical, down to here, which throws it a good distance away. Once you've got your angle set, you just tighten it back down. This also has headlights, so you can keep working at night and you can still see what you're doing. The auger is formed in welded steel and it's got a rubber attachment to it, so you can get all the way down to the pavement without damaging it. As far as power goes, this thing is awesome. I didn't have it stall once, even though I was ramming it into 18 inch tall snow drifts. Uh, for deep snow like that, I just took a couple passes, kind of ramped it up the top on the first one, and then got the bottom on a second pass. It worked great. The official capacity on this is 22 inches wide by 13 inches high. I found for anything up to about eight inches, it could handle it in a single pass and get all the way down to the pavement. Anything taller than about eight inches, I usually had to take two passes to get it all the way down to the pavement. As far as clearing speed goes with this, Snow Joe says it'll move over 800 pounds per minute. Now, as far as practical terms go on snow removal, I did one car width wide by eight inches deep for about a driveway that's two car lengths long in 15 minutes. Way, way faster than I could ever shovel that. So as far as performance goes, I was super impressed with the power this had. I never stalled it once, uh, and that's going through some pretty deep snow drifts. I handled some 18 inch snow drifts with this in a couple passes. Um, I, it just goes right through six to eight inch snow, which was most of what I was doing. Uh, and it's been a couple days since the snowfall and I was helping out some of my neighbors. So it's, it wasn't just fresh powder, uh, so it can handle a lot of snow that's packed pretty good. And the 15 amp motor on this did great. That's just about as powerful as you can get for a corded tool. As far as moving this around and storing it, it only weighs like 30 or 35 pounds. It's got a nice handle right here that's pretty much in the center of gravity with the handle back there. Uh, really easy to pick up and store. Uh, and you can take these wing nuts, thumb screws off and fold the handle down uh, when you're putting it away for the season. So I'm really happy with my purchase. I think it's the perfect snowblower for me. I live in Missouri. We get one or two big snows a year. I didn't want to mess with a gas one and having to get it started in the cold. I didn't want to have to worry about battery life for a battery powered one. If I want to help out my neighbors, I don't have to worry about charge times and, and how long that's going to last. So I think for my uses, this plug-in blower was perfect for me and I'm really happy I bought it. 